In the New Testament, we don't tithe. There's no percentage. God is not demanding something from you like a tax master. No, Christianity is historic and apostolic. That means what the apostles didn't do, we're not supposed to do. What Jesus didn't teach, we're not supposed to teach. What Jesus didn't do, we're not supposed to do. Jesus didn't pay tithe. Jesus didn't receive tithe. Hmm. Paul didn't... Welcome back to Postmate Media. Postmate Media is a channel that shares Nigerian and international men of God's sermons. Is this your first time of coming across this channel? Kindly subscribe and turn on the notification button. Hmm. In this video you're about to watch is a video from a pastor in Nigeria, Pastor Ebedamina. You know, his video has been surfacing online in a couple of months now. So, a few days ago, he honored an interview in a podcast. You know, after this interview, he addressed a lot of things which seems not to be right to the body of Christ. You see, I stand to be corrected and I don't want to say anything much on this video. I want you to watch this video and I want everybody to drop his or her thought. To be candid, this will be my first time I will be seeing a man of God honoring a podcast hosted by an entertainer. Hmm. You know, there was a time like that that something was trending in Nigeria. It was this same podcast that brought out that message. You know, when a lady was saying something about, I don't want to mention such a thing, but it was the same podcast that called this man of God also. But I was curious about this because how would something like this keep happening in the body of Christ? So I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. In the New Testament, we don't tithe. There's no percentage. God is not demanding something from you like a tax master. No, Christianity is historic and apostolic. That means what the apostles didn't do, we're not supposed to do. What Jesus didn't teach, we're not supposed to teach. What Jesus didn't do, we're not supposed to do. Jesus didn't pay tithe. Jesus didn't receive tithe. Hmm. Paul didn't pay tithe. Paul didn't receive tithe. Peter didn't pay tithe. Peter didn't receive tithe. Because the book of Ephesians tells us that the church of Jesus is built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Mm. Christ himself, the cornerstone, which means it's apostolic and historic. Yeah. If you read the book of Acts, nobody paid tithe to anybody, but people gave. The Bible tells us people sold lands and houses and brought and distribution was made mm. so that everybody was taken care of and, and nobody was lacking inside mm. the church. Mm. Mm. So in the New Testament, we don't tithe. What do we do in the New Testament? We give generously. We give willingly. God loves a cheerful giver. When you have experienced his goodness, when you have experienced his love, nobody will need to tell you to support his work on earth. It will flow naturally. That is New Testament. It is generosity, not 10%. I started ministry in 1984. 1984 was when I started preaching. I was all over the world. They were inviting me everywhere. I was the darling of all of them. And nobody attacked me when I was preaching that. The moment I shifted, and why did I shift? I got to where I was feeling empty. Hmm. I got to where I was feeling empty. I would raise the money, collect all the things, drive with convoy, entourage, policemen, mobile, pull everywhere, all over. But I wasn't happy. Hmm. A I man began, of God. Yes. I feeling began, empty. Yes. I began to ask myself, is this all that there is to God? Give, take, give, take. I told my wife, it doesn't make sense anymore. So we left church. We left our church. We mm. traveled. And it was in the midst of this research and prayer mm. that I came by Andrew Womack. Andrew Womack is a preacher in America. I don't like his style because he speaks very gently. I, you know, I'm, a, I'm wild. Yes. So I, I, I came by all his books. I bought all of them. And as I was reading the first book, first eight pages, I knew what was wrong with what I was doing. Mm. And because I had done theology, I understand Christology. So now everything started falling in place. That making sense. So I came back to our church. I went to the pulpit. I said, church, I am apologizing sincerely. All the things I told you about tithe, seed, all that is not true. Please forgive me. Wow. If you allow me, I will make the record straight. But if you feel you can't trust me anymore and you want to leave, I understand. But those who can stay... I will make the record straight. Half of our church left. What God cannot do does not exist. It's not in the Bible. Now, it's important you know that because it's not about sentiment. It's about knowing what the truth is. What God cannot do does not exist. It's not the truth because there are many things that God cannot do that exist. 
God cannot steal. Stealing exists. God cannot lie. Lying exists. God cannot die. Death exists. God cannot marry. Marriage exists. I mean, there are many things. In fact, James tells us in James chapter 1 verse 13, let no man say when he's tempted, I'm tempted of God, for God cannot be tempted. People think I'm jealous of Jereze. Jereze is by, by, by far my, my younger person in me, by far. He's not even like a son to me, he'll be a son to my sons. So I have nothing to envy him for because it's not about sentiment. It's about knowing what the truth is. I believe in miracles. Mm. I believe in healing. Mm. To be honest with you, I've been healed though. Mm. So I've experienced miracles. Sure. I've prayed for somebody that was blind and his eyes opened in Aquaibo. I've raised somebody from the dead. I even have a mark on my finger where I was trying to open the teeth because the teeth had already jammed Clenched. and the teeth hit my finger. I've seen miracles but not this RNG that we're seeing today. Are you seeing the miracles of RNG? Some of, can't you see most of those crutches are all the same color? They're all brand new. Some of those wheelchairs are all brand new. In what world will people come for a crusade and all of them are carrying the same <laughs> brand of crutches? <laughs> and the wheelchairs are all brand new. Maybe they bought it from the same store. That's a question mark. God is not desperate to perform miracles. Because miracles are not the ultimate. The ultimate is eternal life. 